So our hopes and our dreams for this place is really growth. So we understand that absolutely that it's right now there's not a lot of a lot of farmers um, with the continuation starting farms and I think that's where from one side it's a production side we want to make sure we're growing things we're providing product for folks um, but really that leverage goes right into our education side and we're really passionate about um, really sharing that knowledge and bringing in people who just have an idea of maybe do I want a farm if we can build it and keep agriculture going one small farmer at a time, at some point those small farmers will get bigger or they'll come together and get bigger. Uh, so we'll continue to drive agriculture forward. A legacy lives on forever. And the legacies of America's rural communities deserve to be memorialized and shared with great joy. Together, these stories reveal a beautiful tradition of hard work, perseverance, and love. Big Iron Auctions is proud to share your legacy. This week, we visit the Cornhusker State, where a military family took a leap of faith to live out their dream of starting a farm. Barrera's Family Farm is a big family. It encompasses so many people and nationwide. We feed them high quality food and we teach them about agriculture. Growing up, actually my, my grandparents had a cattle ranch in Arizona. Uh, so obviously the summers, uh, weekends, holidays, were usually spent at the farm, at the ranch, you know, feeding cows, uh, similar to what we do now. So that's, I think, where kind of that initial fire was, was kind of put in me as a kid. Spent 21 years active duty Army, um, our family moving every two to three years all over. You know, that idea when I met my wife in Alaska was, you know, hey, let's, you know, let's start a farm. And what was, was great is we ended up coming to Nebraska um, where we actually created the farm. Well, we have eight children to feed, right? And so uh, food is very important to our family. Um, I always wanted to grow up and be Laura Ingalls Wilder and provide for my family. And when we met in Alaska and um, talked about what we wanted to be together as we developed our family and grew up, farming was a part of that. The Barreras Family Farm has expanded rapidly, offering a variety of beef, poultry, pork, turkey, and more. So they opened Omaha's only permanent year-round farmer's market in 2022. We have over 50 farmers and vendors all from Nebraska, Iowa, and Kansas here in our store. We have candles and dog treats and honey candies, pork rinds, and then as the seasons change and grow, we have fresh produce. Most of the stuff is grown in the winter in greenhouses, so we have mushrooms and lettuce all year round. We're so excited to work with so many different farmers that do organic and we have multiple options with our beef. We have grain finished, which is on organic Milo grain, and then we have 100% grass pastured and alfalfa finished. So we are very excited to be working with so many farmers all across Nebraska, Iowa, and Kansas, focusing on small agriculture, beginning farmers, and just bringing the relationship of the farmers to each of you guys. All right, so uh, right now we're kind of overlooking one of our pastures, so it's just right over my shoulder. Uh, you'll see some of our cows that we have. Uh, so these are the ones that we're currently finishing out, uh, basically just feeding all grass. Uh, and then these will get finished out on alfalfa. Here on the farm, what we do is we kind of go back to what what I'm used to growing up with on our ranch in Arizona is where everything stays out on pasture uh, with grass and then as we get closer to knowing when we want to uh, uh, process those animals we start switching to giving them more alfalfa. Uh, what that does allows us to give them a lot more kind of keep a higher protein level uh, but what's really nice the alfalfa is we can get a lot of sugars in it out of that alfalfa so it kind of gives the, the meat a unique uh, kind of flavor at the end uh, and that's kind of helped us kind of bring uh, something different to the area, but ultimately it's to give our customers a choice uh, of what they can have on their plate, uh, whether it's steak or whether it's a pasture, uh, you know, pasture-raised pig, 
uh, giving you that pork chop. So just really just in the end, it's choices. Uh, giving those choices to our customers and anybody out there who wants to try something a little bit different. When we do need help and everybody needs to come together, the kids all jump in. Uh, so some like to deal with the social media side, some like to deal with the marketing, um, some like enjoy working at the store now. Uh, and that customer interaction, we have one of our sons who really loves farmers markets. Uh, so we kind of really kind of put them where their strengths lend themselves and they get to really flourish and we get to see them grow uh, in their interactions with the customers and the other vendors and just kind of see wherever it takes them is, is really on them. The farm is a huge part of the legacy because that's the hands-on learning that they get. Um, you can be taught so many things in a book but until you actually put those things that you've learned into practice, it doesn't actually hit home and make sense. Uh, it is always going to be very different. And so the farm helps solidify their knowledge base and their experiences and their grit as a human being to be able to get through it. You got to have some sort of passion and love for what you're doing. And more importantly, not just the doing it itself, but really that end result. It's got to be quality and you've got to be willing to put your name on it. That pride that comes from deep down of knowing what you did and what you're providing and what you're hoping to continue to provide within agriculture. Um, so yeah, I think there's a deep connection and it's, um, it's something that's it's in a lot of folks. That heritage, that ancestry of what used to be agriculture with what it is now, but more importantly, what it is to you.